I don't even know if I can hold all of these books, but we're gonna try. This is a lot of books. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh my gosh, there's so many books. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Ian, I am Ian the Reader, and today I have my first book haul, and boy is it a doozy. Now, I knew when joining BookTube I was going to end up buying more books, but I had no idea that I was going to get this deep in so quickly, because this is like my first month on BookTube, and I bought a lot of books, like so many. It's really bad. In total today, I have 21 books to talk to you guys about that I either purchased or got as a gift or was sent by an author during the month of October, but 21 books, that's a lot. In my defense, I had gift cards, but that's not really much of a defense because I bought a lot of books. I would say that I'm gonna go on a book buying ban in November, but I still have like $40 left on a half price book gift card, so be looking out for part two next month. But without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into all the books that I purchased. I'm not gonna do a long description on all these books because it is a lot of books and I don't wanna spend too much time talking about any of them, but I'm very interested in reading all of these books. I will at least tell you the name of the book, the author of the book, and the genre of the book, but I can't promise you much more than that because there's a lot to get to. I also have no idea what order I'm gonna go in. I'm just gonna start grabbing them from this gigantic pile of books that you can't quite see. You can see a little bit of it, but it's intense. So I'm just gonna start grabbing books and we're gonna go with it. First, I did wanna talk about two books that have not arrived yet. I actually ordered them earlier this month and they got lost in the mail, so I had to contact Target where I ordered it from and they're resending it out. But I'm very excited to receive these two books. Those are Never Fade by Rob J. Hayes. So excited to get into my first Rob J. Hayes book. So excited. I've heard so much hype about this book and all of his other books. And uh, yeah, it's indie fantasy. Super excited about getting into it. And then the other book that I ordered is called Stoner. It is by John Williams. It's a classic that I've heard so many good things about. I've heard it is like nearly a perfect book. And I cannot tell you how excited I am to get into it. So excited. So those will be arriving sometime, hopefully in the next few days. But I wanted to go ahead and film this video rather than waiting for them to arrive because I've been waiting for weeks and they need to get here already because I want to read them. Okay, first up from the gigantic pile of books is Half of a Yellow Sun by this author. I don't want to butcher the name. I really need to look up how to pronounce it, but I don't want to butcher it right now. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. It has like a really high uh, score on Goodreads, which is awesome. But I've also heard about this author's book Americana as well as her debut novel, Purple Hibiscus. And yeah, I just, I've been dying to read this author and I saw this book at Half Price Books in hardback in a really nice edition for like $7. So I went ahead and picked it up and I really hope to get to this really soon. Next up is my book of the month pick, which is The Lincoln Highway. Look at this chunker, it's pretty big and I'm very excited about it. I loved A Gentleman in Moscow by this author and I'm so excited to get to this book soon. Uh, it's historical fiction and it's like a road trip thing. I don't know, I've heard good things about it and could not be more excited to read it soon. Next book is In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I've actually never read a book by Ruth Ware, even though I love mystery thrillers. I have never read anything by her, so I'm very excited to get this one. I've heard pretty good things about this one. I've heard it's not her best book. I think this was her debut novel, um, but I hope to read it soon. I'm actually gonna be doing a vlog called I Try Mystery Thriller Authors that I've never read before, and I'm hoping to feature Ruth Ware in this video. Next up is The Anthropocene, reviewed by Mr. John Green. I used to love John Green's books like when I was in high school and like early college years. The Fault in Our Stars was like my favorite book for a couple years there until it got replaced. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try John Green's nonfiction. I've read the first few essays in here and I really enjoyed them. I have a feeling this could actually be a five-star book just because I love the way that John Green thinks and writes and talks and this seems like a very genuine and heartfelt uh, collection of essays. So thank you to my dad for getting this for me as a graduation gift. Very excited to read it. Next up, I went ahead and picked up Wrath by John Gwynn, which is the last book in the Faithful and the Fallen series, of which I have not read yet, which I admitted I DNF'd temporarily Malice earlier this year, but I'm ready to get back into the series, so I went ahead and picked this up. It was at half price books for like $7, $8, could not say no, so I have it. I also picked up Blue Beard by Kurt Vonnegut. I've only ever read Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, but I've really been wanting to try more of his stuff. So I saw this book at Half Price Books for like $3.99. And again, I just couldn't say no. So here we are, I own this. Who knows if I'll actually read it? We'll find out later. The next two books are books that I actually ordered because I am planning on doing a reading vlog of myself reading books written by booktube authors that I'm really excited about. I'm gonna be featuring these two books as well as Daniel Green's Breach of Peace in that vlog, and that'll be coming up either at the end of this year or next year. So the two books that I purchased for that are The Forgetting Moon by Brian Lee Durfee. He has a great booktube channel. If you haven't checked him out, 
he's awesome. I love how just like non-scripted and like stream of consciousness he is. He's really great and he has some great book recommendations. This book is massive, so it's intimidating, but I'm really excited to read it. And then the other one that I picked up, I've been meaning to get this book for years actually, is Peace and Turmoil by the Elliot Brooks, the one and only. And uh, yeah, this book has been on my radar for so long because I've been following her YouTube channel for a number of years and I've been meaning to pick it up and I finally decided to just do it and I'm gonna read these books in a vlog with Breach of Peace, which I already own. I'm very excited about it. So if you haven't checked out Elliot Brooks's channel, her stuff is amazing. I love watching her book two videos. She's a lot of fun and yeah, you should totally check her out. She has great fantasy recommendations. Next up, I went ahead and picked up The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Cefan. Maybe that's how you say it. Um, yeah, I've seen really, really amazing reviews for this on Goodreads and I've wanted to read it for a long time. I just haven't. It's actually a translated work, I believe from Spanish. And yeah, I've heard really great things. It's like magical realism, literary fiction kind of thing. And I totally want to read it. If you've read this, tell me what you thought about it. Cause I would love to hear more about it. Then I picked up Empire in Black and Gold by Adrian Tchaikovsky. First off, I love this cover. I love actually pretty much every cover I've seen in this book, but I love this one in particular. It is thinner than I thought it was going to be because other people's editions are like way longer looking. I, I don't think this is abridged. I hope to God it's not because who wants to read abridged stuff? Like what's the point? But anyway, I've seen this all over booktube lately. Library of Alexandria has been talking about it. Uh, Fina over at Fina Reads has been talking about it. I know Andrew's Wizardly Reads, I believe also read this recently. And yeah, I just, I'm dying to read it. I'm super excited. So this will either be read in the last couple of months of this year or maybe early next year, but it's gonna happen real soon. Next up is a book with an absolutely atrocious cover that I bought because it was cheap. The Prince of Tides. In my defense, I actually have no idea what this book is about, but it was recommended to me because I love the book. I know this much is true by Wally Lamb and I've heard that this is kind of like, not like similar in nature, but it's just recommended for people who love Wally Lamb and I love me some Wally Lamb. So I picked up this book with like the most god awful cover I've ever seen because it was cheap and hopefully I'll read it. I hope so because otherwise I wasted four bucks, but it's just four bucks, right? Next up, I picked up the first two books in the Green Rider series. Those are Green Rider and First Rider's Call, both by Miss Kristen Britton. I'm very excited to get to these. Again, Fina over uh, on Fina Reads is going to be hosting a read along of the first book in January and I'm super excited to read that with anybody else who's gonna be participating. I think it's gonna be a blast, I'm very excited. There's also like seven books in that series so far, and I think the eighth one's gonna be the last one, so it's definitely a series I can get into, but I'm just gonna start with the first one, see how I like it, and we'll go from there. Next, I picked up The Ember Blade by Chris Wooding. I've heard such amazing things about this. I've heard that it's really like, you know, ca called to mind like traditional fantasy, classic fantasy, like it's been compared to Lord of the Rings and things like that, and Murphy over on her channel, she did a review of this a while back and absolutely ra raved about it, and so, yeah, I'm definitely wanting to read this soon. I've heard great things. It's a chunker, but you know, fantasy, they're usually that way. So, very exciting. Next up, I got one I am so excited about. Ha ha, The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. My gosh, people will not shut up about Joe Abercrombie and I've got to find out why. I have not read any of his stuff. I know he just finished up his latest trilogy with The Wisdom of Crowds, I think it's called. Maybe, I think that's what it's called. And I've just seen so many reviews of it. People are saying it's amazing and I really wanna read Joe Abercrombie stuff. So I found this book at Half Price Books and I had to get it. So this is going to be read very soon. I'm also planning a vlog of me trying fantasy authors I've never tried before and Mr. Joe Abercrombie will be featured. You better believe it. So very exciting. How many times can I say very exciting in one video? Who knows, we're gonna find out. It's very exciting, isn't it? Next up, I was lucky enough to receive review copies of Speaker of Maila and Speaker of Elor, I hope I said that right, by Trent Anthony. Uh, I got in touch with him on Instagram and he was kind enough to send me these books with amazing covers. Look at these, these are just so well designed. Um, I'm super excited about these. Um, they sound really interesting too. I'm gonna go ahead and read the description of Sp Speaker of Maila, which is the first book. It says, inside a dark, dead volcano, the Hakusi military prepares for war. There, Jiraz faces an important day in his mage training, the rite of Yat Kumatika, where he must kill a man to become a weapon just like his father, Katsik, the finisher. 
Will Jiraz rise to glory at the right hand of the emperor or will he heed a different voice, one that is calling him toward another life, another place, and another self? Doesn't that sound good? Like even just the setting alone of inside a dark dead volcano, that sounds super awesome. And I love that these are not super long because as much as I love me a good long fantasy, it's nice to have like a fantasy book that you can read in like one setting or close to one setting. Um, and this just seems like super immersive and I'm very excited about getting to these soon. So I'm gonna be reading this one in uh, November and this one in December and I'm so excited. Thank you again Trent Anthony for uh, sending me these. Couldn't be happier. All right guys, we're getting down to the wire. We have two more books. Next up is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica jo Johansson or is it Johansson? I'm not sure how you say it, but very excited about these. I've seen a lot of good things. This is a beautiful book too and look at that and I got it at my library. They had marked it out and I got it for like a dollar. So there's a steal. Come on. I, I guess I can buy cheap books and it's okay, right? Please tell me it's okay, whatever. I'm very excited about this. I've heard really great things about this trilogy, very much like a political fantasy setting, things like that. And yeah, I hope to get to it soon. We'll see. And last but not least is a book that I got from a little free library and that is The Half Drowned King, which may look like a fantasy, but I've actually heard that it's like historical fiction with kind of like fantasy tones to it because of like the setting and the fact that it has to do with like royalty and all that jazz. This is the first book in a trilogy. I've seen Leanna from Leanna's library uh, just have great reviews for these books. And so I really do hope to get to this one soon. I think it seems really exciting and I love the cover of this book. So I would love to read it very soon. We'll see if I do, but um, I like looking at it at least. So yeah. And that's it. That is my October book haul. As you can see, I bought like a ton of books. I'm a little bit ashamed, but mostly excited. You know, it makes me happy. So that's all that matters, right? I hope. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what books you guys picked up in October and are excited to read. You know, I'm always down to hear about more books and I clearly have no issue spending money on them. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave me a comment below. I do so much appreciate it. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday and occasionally other days. Keep an eye out on Saturday because I will be posting part two of my vampire reading vlog. Very excited about it. Thank you guys so much. Don't be a stranger and I will see you in the next video. Bye.